right. Let's watch it in full here. There is no sound, although there's an alarm clock. I'm assuming that's an alarm clock. And wait for it, and it's going to happen again. It's a longer clip. Wait, wait, and... And wait for it. And then down. And that's that. All right. So, couple things here. I think generally, timing-wise, I think we're lingering on some moments a bit too long. Subjectively, of course. Like, I like this. We understand sleeping. This moves, so I'm going to assume that's an alarm clock. It's a really big one. <laughs> it would be good to see maybe the time. At first, I was slightly confused, but like, I guess, I mean, it must be an alarm clock. But then I was also, is that a door? Like, what is this? Is the bed right next to the door? That's weird. And wouldn't there be a night table and the alarm clock is there? But maybe that forces him to get up to turn it off. But then, let's see. It's also interesting. With like, it's almost like, he's, is he reaching? Is that like an instinctual thing of, oh, I used to be here? I like, I mean, I like the, it's kind of fun posing and kind of going around with this. I'm curious to hear, maybe you can email me your thoughts on why exactly like this. Because it feels very, I'm looking here and I'm trying to reach something that's not there. Even though it's a fun, maybe unexpected <laughs> stiffness of someone waking up and turning. I, I like it. I'm not saying it's, you know, it's horrible or wrong. Don't do it. I'm just curious what your thought process was. I always like when people fall. That's fun. I like that we see this first. So we know that he got closer. <laughs> I love that all of this is moving. And then I'm slightly confused at this. This feels more like, ah, he's seeing something. I'm assuming that's maybe a stretching or the pain of, in, you know, hitting the head on the table. But we're staying in this for quite some time. Especially this there is really long. And if he has to get there because of the alarm, it's almost like I was expecting him to now take this arm and then drop it to stop the clock. But like the interval between the interval between the, the rings is also kind of long. But anyway, this felt just really long. Long, long, long. Then we get there. And then I was like, okay, he didn't do it now, but now I'm expecting that hand to arc down and stop it. But then he just looks at it. And you feel like, okay, well, maybe he's going to use this arm because the head hurts. But then it's not extending. Like, he could touch it. But then he's, okay, weird. Maybe he's pulling over because we're waiting for something. He's almost looking at me here, though. Maybe so mad that he wants to smack the clock. But then he doesn't. I'm very confused. But then he rings again. He doesn't do anything about it. And then someone collapses backwards. So I'm, sl I'm slightly confused. I think in terms of what you have there and breakdowns and, and the animation, I think it's already a lot of fun. I think my concern is mainly this section through here in terms of how long it takes, like that long stare. I'm not quite sure why. It feels like it kind of sucks out the pacing. I think we could speed things up a bit. And then I'm slightly confused about the choices. Again, I like how you have that with the drag and the roll on the chair. And I like the little adjustment indicating that there's some armrests there like all that is fun like i'm not i'm not really concerned about like, the animation it's more about some of the ideas and the timing of it if that makes sense so yes since so this is the first submission i'm gonna leave it at that i just want to know a bit more about it you're just writing here that um it's kind of a working from home sit down assignment and then you got kind of carried away <laughs> and uh and then that's it. So I would love to hear more information about it. Because other than that, I mean, you know, this point here, kind of a tangent, almost, cons you know, confused about the door, or is there like a distance that we just don't understand because of the way it's staged? Like, I don't feel like that's a an important note on my end. Like, I can find things, but I think that would be silly. But I, I like the idea of the sudden wake up. I think maybe this could be played instead of the arm again these are all now subjective points here instead of the arm maybe the arm is a bit lower but then the head shoots up a bit higher more towards us so we can see the the face a bit more 
for some freak out because again that doesn't look like he's freaking out this feels more like okay i gotta turn this off oh wait but where is it it's not there so that's kind of that's where my mind was first going so maybe it would be fun to see the face a bit more or maybe he's then super tired and then stretches oh i'm waking up and then the stretch he forgot or he didn't realize that he's so close to the corner and the arm up and stretch makes him fall down that could be an idea but again i love all of this love all of that and it's kind of fun to come up like ah oh. Ah, but then it's almost like, wouldn't he then use then that anger to then... It's almost like he wants to maybe scream of, ah, this hurt. And then this interrupts that moment of relief. And then he's, with that anger, bam, then he smacks it down. Because what he could do is could also fall apart, and just pieces here. And that's why he goes, ah, oh, finally. And then there's this little, just a little bit more. So it's not as annoying, but he didn't quite kill it. And that's why he goes over... To do something but then again then then it will continue again in a small piece but then he still wouldn't do anything and do that but at least it wouldn't be the original loud noise if that makes sense right so if he's here angry it interrupts him he smashes it to pieces and now it's just an annoying thing it's not loud that that it would wake him up you know if he'd be sleeping just kind of like a bzz, bzz, and that's why he just goes oh that's annoying all right, I'm awake, but it's just kind of annoying. And then it kind of goes bzz, bzz, and falls down. So it's it's more of an annoyance of, oh, what a morning, versus the same loud noise that he's just not stopping. <laughs> that is my somewhat critical concern there. I'm just I'm slightly confused, but I'm going to leave it at that instead of rambling. Um, let me know. Email me. Um, I would love to discuss your thoughts and your ideas. I don't want to steer you in directions that, that you know don't want to go to. So let's discuss. All right, thanks. All right, there's an email. You can sign up, you can start whenever you want, you can submit whenever you want, you get 16 submissions. Either way, a like and subscribe would be awesome. All right, thank you.